New at 10, it happened again. Franklin's mayor had to call police on a council member. Take a listen. And, excuse and, and, and me, excuse this, me, this is not Mr. Right. McLemore, please. This was the scene Monday night, and tonight we are getting both sides of the story. So, ten of your sides, Jason Marks, talked to everyone involved. What happened here? Well, Tom, the council was discussing a hot button issue, and that's when the mayor and the councilmen, who don't get along to begin with, butted heads once again. And, excuse and, and, me, and, and excuse this, me, this is not Mr. Right. McLemore, please. Sometimes council meetings can get heated, but Monday night, the friction between Mayor Raystine Johnson Ashburn and Councilman Greg McLemore came to a head. When the mayor didn't agree with what I was saying, she um, shut me down. The issue on this night was a public hearing over a $1.4 million state grant that could be awarded to Franklin. The money would be used to fix homes along Madison Street. It will improve the infrastructure. In, on that street, as well as repaving. The residents who opt into the program will be charged $25 a month. I don't think that's fair. The state and government authorized the money to help the lower income people. And now you're going to put another expense on them? And Monday's meeting brought a tipping point. I don't know where you can get your house rehabbed Mayor, for $25. My question was, how much of the you grant have your are the citizens going to be paying back? The words continued. What do we have to pay? Nobody's years. talking to you. What do we and have it, to Mrs. pay? Zero. Murphy has Zero. Support. That's when the mayor asked officers to step in. It's Chief not Porty, a thousand dollars. Would you come up to the front, please? What? Along with your officers. So now I can't even speak without you threatening to have the police. I'm sorry, Mr. McLemore. We have gone through this process. I have given everyone time to speak. McLemore ended up leaving the meeting on his own. He was disruptive. He was cutting Mrs. Murphy off, another council person. So I felt impelled to bring it back to order, and that's what I did. It appears that I'm being disruptive and argumentative when I'm just trying to get to the bottom of, of, of the given issue, whatever it is. My job is to speak on behalf of the citizens of my ward and represent them. And if I'm going to be threatened with police harassment, because I'm doing my job, I don't, I don't want no parts of this. Ten on your side was in Franklin in June when the mayor almost kicked McLemore out of another meeting. You got this on camera? This guy, this guy, you just on camera. McLemore says he's not just some crazy guy, but a man who's standing up for the people. But council confrontations like these are the last thing anyone in the city wants to see. I really hate it. We are striving and working very hard to have a positive image for Franklin. McLemore says the mayor has a long-standing vendetta against him. She tells me that's just not true, and she wants everyone to get along. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And both Mayor Johnson Ashburn and Councilman McLemore up for re-election in July. McLemore's seat is being contested while the mayor is running unopposed.